Yeah, Melinda Ludicky's last day is the Bell County Elections Administrator is September 8th. And some residents are worried that her decision to leave will affect their voting process. If you're the elections administrator, you generally wouldn't resign or and, and slash retire so close to a major and such an important presidential election. Ludicky has been with the county for 28 years, leaving big shoes to fill. There will be nothing done any differently come September 9th and on that wouldn't have been done if I wouldn't have, if I would still be here. It's a role Matthew Dutton feels prepared to take on. I've been doing this now for close to a decade. So a lot of those answers I already know now almost as second nature. You know, they just come right to me. But the sudden change causes some uncertainty for some residents. We want to ensure that everyone who wants to register have the opportunity to get registered and that everyone who registers have an opportunity to vote and that everyone who vote, that their vote is counted. Cleveland tells me some concern she has is the lack of staffing and how that's going to affect early voting. She also mentions the distrust some people have with the post office. So it's going to leave some residents in a bind when it comes to mail and voting. But Dutton has one word of advice. Just make sure to have an extra bit of patience just because it's a big election. So there's going to be a lot of folks to get through. With officials saying the transition is going to be seamless, there's one last thing to do, and that's on us. It's important to vote that every vote counts and it's up to us as individuals to make sure that we're registered and that we make a plan to get out there and vote. Now Dutton tells me that the change won't have a huge impact on the upcoming election, but he does want people to be aware of voter deadlines. It's the cutoff to, for voter registration is coming up in early October. In Belton, Paige Ellenberger, 25 News.